Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the Symbols widget tutorial for ChemDoodle version 5. The Symbols widget works in tandem with the Labels toolbar. The top button of the widget has selectable sections, which displays a large library of information which can be used in addition to those available in the Labels toolbar. As you click through the various options, you can see the library includes arrows, a periodic table of elements, Greek letters, and many other symbols. As you click through each section, the main panel directly below changes to display that section. The symbols in these panels have fairly small fonts and may at times be difficult to read. However, if you just hover over a symbol, a larger version will appear in the top left portion of the main panel. If you keep the cursor hovered, a descriptor of that particular symbol will appear a few seconds later. So for instance, if I hover over the equal sign with a line through it in the mathematical symbol section, the descriptor will inform me that that is the symbol for not equals to. When you use symbols from the abbreviations or elements section, you can modify them just as you can with any atoms found in the labels toolbar. Simply select them, then put them on the doodle board, or apply them straight into a current structure. Keep in mind that only some of the labels, such as those in the periodic table, can be used to directly add atoms to the doodle board. With all labels, you can open up a text field and then click on the symbol to insert it. This can be done in text components too. When you're inserting symbols into atom labels, you can also set symbols that are not recognized or parsed by ChemDoodle. If you do this, an unrecognized warning will appear. Right-click on the symbol and in the menu, choose Add to Recognized Abbreviations. Insert the smiles and other information. The symbol is now permanently added to the list of recognized tokens. Sometimes, there will be a symbol that was not available when you scroll through the various symbol categories. If a symbol is not available here, click the Unicode Character Selection button below the main panel. Using the two key combinations at the top and along the side, you can access the Unicode range through various alphabets and uncommon symbols. Keep in mind that some of these selections will not have any character glyphs assigned to the combination. In these situations, an empty rectangle will appear in place of a symbol. 